Hi, Bob and Amy. Well, here in Utah, there are more children in the foster care system than there are families to care for them, especially children with significant behavioral or mental health challenges. In March, when families were told to isolate and stay home, Sela Misinale opened up her house. And we've actually looked into fostering three times before this within the 14 years I've been married. For the mother of three, somehow the pandemic became the best time to open their lives to a child in need. We prayed about it and, and this was something that opened up. The family now cares for a 17-year-old girl with significant challenges. I find a piece of myself that I don't think you would be able to find anywhere else. So, you know, helping another child, helping someone that nobody else they have no one else. On Wednesday, she and several dozen other foster parents get ongoing training and support through Open Arms Children and Adult Services in South Salt Lake. Each child that comes in requires different needs, and so we want to make sure that we can find the best fit family. This is a children's program. you got to learn how to have fun. In Utah, there is a general need for foster parents, especially so-called Proctor families with specialized skills able to care for children with significant behavioral or mental health needs. As of today, Utah has about 2,400 children in foster care and 1,100 licensed foster care families. One of the things that we're really looking for right now is just making sure that we can fill the need. What does the home look like? What type of child is going to best fit in that home? While immensely challenging, being a Proctor family is also immensely rewarding for Misi Nale. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to to open not just your home, but open your heart. And if you're thinking about becoming a foster parent, we have a list of qualifications that you'll have to meet on our website, fox13now.com. Reporting live in Salt Lake City, Haley Higgins, Fox 13 News, Utah.